With boldness, let us approach the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace as a timely help. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today, as we come before our Father in heaven, let us call to mind the times that we have failed and ask God for his divine mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. May your spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts, that he may give us a mind pleasing to you and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. <clears throat> a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priest and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees and some were Pharisees. So he called out before the Sanhedrin, My brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, or angels, or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply, sharply argued, we find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul would be torn in pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O Lord. I bless the Lord who consoles me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me, and he at my right hand shall not be disturbed. He who is safe, O oh God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. May they all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that the world may believe that you sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, and I have given them the glory you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me and that you love them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also will be that they may see my glory that you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and I know that you sent me. I made known to them your name and will make it known that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the most powerful means of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Today, we have one of these Gospels that John writes, and the language is kind of tough. But God is calling for unity amongst his people. And it's interesting that in our country where freedom and our country was built on rebellion. Our forefathers rebelled against England for taxation without representation. They threw a bunch of tea in the Boston Harbor and said, no more, we're not paying taxes to the king, we're not going to deal with this. So there's a spirit of rebellion that sits in the West, in the hearts of the people. And if you look at it, and God is calling for one, even as a church, as Christians, as Catholics, we have separations within our church. We say conservative and liberal. You got the trad Catholics over here, the progressive, progressive Catholics over here. But when you look at a nation that's under siege, when you look at, for example, like Iraq or Afghanistan, or if you look at the Horn of Africa, and Christians in that neighborhood, where the faith is persecuted, you don't have this side of the church and this side of the church. They are all one. Why is that? Because they go out and pray in public, they could be killed. And everyone realizes that. Everyone realizes that that fellowship of another Christian is so very important that they don't judge their brothers and sisters for the little inconsistencies of faith. My brothers and sisters, Jesus says that a house divided against itself will not conquer. We are in terrible shape as a Christian community, not just Catholics, but all Christians, because it seems like we fight each other more than we fight the evil one in our midst. Then we fight the atrocities of abortion and sex trafficking, pornography, and all these different things that are happening in our world that takes down the family unit. We don't fight those things because we can't agree on doctrine. And I'm not saying that I have a cure for that. It's just an observation. But as God calls us to oneness, what he's asking us to do is open us, our hearts to him so that he may dwell within us. St. Paul said, it's not I who live, but Christ who lives within us. This is a true aspect of the Holy Spirit, allowing God to come and dwell within us, meaning that our work is not our work. Our speech is not our speech. That we offer all things to God. That we encourage and we love one another as we ought to be loved, as Christ loved, to allow that Spirit of God to love through us. 
And the thing is, is if we look at our culture, we are a rebellious nation. We have rebelled, and any time that something upsets the herd, we see, like in Minneapolis, people are rioting. And I understand that the death of, of someone under police uh, detention is a horrible, horrible thing. But we have to pray. We have to send our angels to these very people. We have to ask God for peace that no one gets hurt. My brothers and sisters, there is no unity within Christ unless we can love one another, unless we can accept each other's doctrines, unless we can accept the commonalities of loving Christ's heart as he is our master, he is our Lord. He brings us to salvation. All the other stuff adds to that. But that core central message is, must be Christ-centric. It must be about the cross. It must be about the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And then he sends forth the Holy Spirit on humanity so that we may live in peace with one another. During this whole epidemic, we had time to reflect and look at ourselves, to see our own struggles, to see our own impurities, in a sense, our sinfulness. It's time to bring those forward, to surrender those to God, to ask for forgiveness for those, and to call the Holy Spirit into our lives and ask God for that baptism of the Holy Spirit, especially this weekend in the church. My brothers and sisters, don't look at the differences. Quit fighting other Christians about what's right and what's wrong. What's right is that you adore Christ, that you love Christ, that you love God with all your mind, your heart, and your soul, and you love your neighbor as yourself. Father, we come before you and we praise and thanksgiving. We thank you for hearing us. For we know you always hear us. Consider these needs and we beg you to answer them. Father, we continue to pray for our church, for our Holy Father, his cardinals, bishops, for all priests, deacons, religious. We pray especially for the lay Catholics throughout the world and all Christians. Lord, that there would be an abundance of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the world this weekend. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for those who lead us in the world, in our country, as national leaders, state leaders, local leaders, for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for our military, our law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, hospital personnel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the African American community in Minneapolis, St. Paul. We ask, Lord, for peace to fall upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for you, for your family, your friends, your circle of influence, for those that have asked for your prayers and especially your intentions in the silence of your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Pray for Robert Perrins Jr., for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Father, these are our prayers. We ask you to hear them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and also through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, our Mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given. Human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. 
Let us pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of Esther and for the great and glory of his name, for our good and for all of his goodness. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven at their right hand, that he might make us sharers of his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers and the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Anthony, St. Margaret of Scotland, St. Margaret, Mary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I go. For if I do not go away, the paraclete will not come to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. I ask you to join me in a spiritual communion. Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, we ask you to flood us with your presence, your Eucharistic presence, especially to all the open hearts who open their hearts now to you, Lord. May the power of your love heal the wounds of our past, extinguish our sinful pride, bring us to humility before you and empower us with the power of your love. We ask you, Father, through the intercession of Our Lady Queen of the Angels to dispatch as many angels necessary to the cities that are, have riots in them, looting in them. Lord, that you may shower your peace through your angels to them. Bring people to your love. Bring people to your peace, to your joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring and restore us through our participation in them 
that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.